Hello everyone and welcome back to my heavenly babies. We've got a box opening. Oh my gosh, I always love the box opening days. So excited. This is a very uh, precious and um, unique baby. So I'm very excited to open this box and then I will tell you um, what baby it is and the, uh, you know, all the information, all that for what I do know and where I got the baby. So we're gonna first do a gender reveal. And so I'm gonna do the reveal by just showing you what I bought for the clothing. So this baby is a baby boy. We got another boy, you guys, and after I open him, then I will um, tell you the name. I already got the name for him, and um, something was done special, and I'll go over all that once I get the baby out. But this is the first outfit I got. I got this from TJ Maxx. It's Life is Good. I believe, yep, it was TJ Maxx. I've only paid $6.99 for this, you guys. I love TJ Maxx. This is a three-piece outfit, so it's got the hat. Uh, this baby here wears between wears uh, newborn to zero to three okay so this is a zero to three it's got the hat it's got the onesie and it says smart cookie life is good and it's got a cookie on it with a bite out of it and it's done in a gray color like a heather gray with like a mustard but a deep mustard yeah um, like more of a a brown mustard color like a dijon like not a dijon mustard but it's hard to explain it's a, just a deep mustard color and then it's got the little pants. We do got fall coming, you guys, and we're going to need warm clothing. I just can't believe the summer is going by way too fast. I mean, we're at the end of August almost. Uh, today is the 22nd. I believe you'll get this video right on this day. Um, but I just got it out of the mail. But anyways, um, yeah, we got fall coming right around the corner. And um, that's in, you know, what is that, September? The end of September is the fall. So we're getting so close to fall, you guys. So we're going to need some nice warm clothes. So I got this for him. I got him this, look at this. This is from TJ Maxx as well. And this one is, oh no, was this TJ Maxx? Yeah, no, Target. I paid 909 for this one. This is a, um, looks like three to six, but it was a little smaller looking. It's a cute little romper with Mickey on it. It's a dark gray and it's got Mickey Mouse with the pockets here that are real pockets and his hands are like kind of holding onto the pocket. And then it also came with a onesie. A Mickey Mouse onesie that's a lighter gray and it's got Mickey Mouse all over it. And this is a, um, not a onesie, I'm sorry, this is a little romper. It's the little shorts. So isn't that cute, you guys, for only $9? I mean, again, I love Target because they always have those 70% off sales. And this was originally $12.99. It's on sale for $9.09. So love it. He's going to look cute. I hope you guys are seeing the clothes because I just never know the way I set this up now. If you guys are seeing it, yep, you're seeing it. Okay, so I got that for him. I got this at Target. Look at how cute this is, you guys, this, this two-piece um, outfit. Uh, definitely summer. It's like a surfer. So cute. Looks like jean material. I love it. This was at Target, and this was um, $10.50. Originally, it was $15 for this outfit, and I believe this one, I didn't tell you the last one. This one's a Carter. The last one was um, Disney Baby, and the other one was, says Life is Good, I think, and that's from um, TJ Maxx. So the other, these, the two I just showed you were from Target and it was uh, Disney and Carter's and the other one was Life is, Life is Good. But isn't this cute? It looks like jeans and it's got the little shorts with it. And there's the shorts there. Got the little fake, um, or the little uh, cat eye buttons and it ties. Same thing in the front, little cat eye buttons. Got a little pocket there, like an actual little pocket. So cute, he's gonna look adorable. Of course, all my babies share clothes, but when I'm doing a box opening, I'd like to just add a few pieces. There are going to be some stuff in here as well uh, for him, so I didn't have to get as much. Some babies, I get more if they don't come with box opening, like Isaiah. I mean, I was waiting for him forever, so I had a long time to nest. And then one more outfit. Look at this, another little surfer-looking outfit, and this one was only $9, originally $14. And it's a little surfer outfit as well, the little thing. And this is a zero to three. The last one was newborn. Um, so like I said, I was told that he wears newborn to zero to three. So I got in this little outfit too, which again is going to fit all my little babies and that are, you know, around that size. Most of my babies are all about that size. So it's the same thing. It's got the fake, well, this has got the fake little wood buttons. And then there's the little shorts. And it's like really nice material. And this is a cat and jack. And yeah, really like soft, um, flowy material, really nice. It seems like it would be a nice, cool outfit. So I also got him that. So yes, we've got another boy. I got rid of three girls because I had so many girls and I knew 
you know, that I had um, that uh, one coming. Well, that was kind of a quick one, that Skylar, my Skylar um, Thomas, that one um, from Reborns.com. That was a spur of the moment. So that's why he didn't have any stuff to show you guys. But I will show you when I do a clone, clothes changing on him. I'll show you what I got for him because he was just a quick one. Didn't have time to go out and nest for him at all. He just came so fast. Literally, she mailed him out. I ordered that night late. The next day she mailed him out and he was here like a day or two later. So it was just, I just didn't have enough time, but I did get him some stuff, but they all share. All right. So let's open up this baby here. We're going to get out the little gifts and we're going to get the baby out. I love when people wrap the baby in plastic just in case something goes wrong. I'm doing the same thing now because if you watch, um, uh, uh, Nanny's Reborn Nursery, she had a baby that got stuck out. It was supposed to be delivered by FedEx and it got stuck out in the rain. Literally FedEx just threw it in the back of somebody's truck and pretended it got signed for it. I don't think they could find her place. The weather and everything, they just, that, that's what they did. That's what they did to her and thank God that that baby was okay because it was a vinyl baby with a cloth body. Thank God the seller put it in plastic. So it started to make me think of that. Even though my babies are silicone, I still don't want anything to get ruined, you know on it. I'm going to wrap everything up, but the baby at least gets wrapped, you know, and I would hope that I should start putting all this stuff in plastic, all the little outfits and everything. I should put them in plastic, little zip locks, because you never know if that could happen, but isn't that terrible? All right. So in this box came with a party little mask. That's cute. That must be for mama, a party mask, those masquerades. Okay. And then look at how pretty with the blue ribbon, because it's the boy. Let's see what we got for this boy. Okay, so we got two hats for him. I'm always needing hats because I got a lot of bald babies. They won't always be bald, um, but I got a lot of bald babies. Um, and uh, I'm going to be rooting them or drawing the hair on. This one has hair, and we'll go over that. But hats, and I still like hats on boys anyways, even if they have hats. We can say that. That one stayed nice. Got another one here. If the stuff doesn't get ruined, I'll save the tissue paper. We can always use that, right? Two diapers. Thank you. I'll say who it is after, um, who I got it from after. And then we've got this package here. And this is all cute. This one's a couple little onesies. This is a mighty cute, it says, and it's got sharks on it. And it's kind of a dusty blue. And then this one here is a, got a collar on it. I love collar ones for like uh, Sebastian and that. I got my babies that are my prep babies. This one here, I believe is going to be a prep baby too. Um, but it's got the collar on it and everything. It's like a um, heather gray and it's got cell boats all over it. Very, very cute. Thank you. Okay. And then what's in here? Oh, I got to get in frame, right? You guys got to see when I'm opening it. Oh, look at that. A little lovey little lovey for this one. Um, I think I'm going to trade though this lovey and give it to one of my smaller babies and give him a bigger one. I do have a bigger lovey um, that I did get for him because I wasn't sure if I was going to get one sent. And I should know because um, when I tell you who this person is, uh, she always sends loveys. So I should have figured she was going to send one with, but this one's a little small. It's adorable. And I think it would work perfect for one of my smaller babies. Um, probably, you know who, um, if he doesn't have a small one, I don't know, I'll have to look through the babies. Some of my small babies have a little bit of a bigger um, lovey. So I'll give it to one of them, um, but we'll, we'll just see. But I did get, and I figured if I didn't get one, I would show you guys the lovey I did get for him. So for him, I wasn't sure if he had a lovey. There we go, there's the lovey for him. Um, I think that's the one I'm giving to him. If I change my mind, I'll let you know, but this is what I got for him at TJ Maxx. And it's got a rattle in it, it's an elephant. So I did get him one because this was so cheap, you guys. This was only $3.99 for this. It says it right there, $3.99. Hopefully you guys can see that. At TJ Maxx. So I thought, I can't pass that up. It's got the hook on it and everything. Great. So he's got a lovey, and I'll give the little tiny one um, to the seller right now if she's watching. Honey, this is so cute. Thank you so much. I'm going to save it for one of the smaller ones. Just like I did with the other one, I wasn't sure if that was a lovey, and I gave her a different one. Gave her a different lovey, and I put that up on the wall because I just loved it. Then I got a nook here, a magnified nook, I believe it is, right? Yep, in purple, okay. And then last but not least, the little paper. Oh, okay, so the information on the baby, but I'm not gonna tell you that until after we open him up. Okay, so now we're gonna get to him. 
let's go ahead and just tear into this because it's just a garbage bag. That's what I put mine into is the garbage bags like that, just so it, it's protected and tie it. But I'm almost wanting to put all the stuff into it too. Boy, he feels heavy. He's heavy. Yes, he is. He's a heavy one. She weighted him really good. I even asked if she would go a little heavier from what she told me the weight was. And she definitely gave him great weight. I'll tell you that much. So, all right, let's start off slow. See if you guys know this one. This baby, make sure his head is covered. Yep, he's covered with the diaper. Okay, ah, look at the sleeper. Love the sleeper. So, so cute. And so we're gonna go ahead and undo it. This is a vinyl baby. And he doesn't have a onesie on, so that's that's okay. All right, let's look at him. Oh, cute. Look at this leg. Oh my God, I love the painting on this again. There's blemishes on this one. I love, love, love when artists do blemishes. There's blemishes on the leg here. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll bring it up to the camera. Um, I just, I'm a person that loves blemishes because we are born you know, not flawless. And that's what makes it more realistic. There's that foot, so precious. And these little feet, the veiny. He's got good veining too. Wow, very nice spider veins on it. And yes, I love the coloration. I love his color. Um, I love the feel too. I love the feel of him. It feels good. Okay, we can undo the head because you can't see the head. Um, oh, and I forgot to say thank you for the blanket too. A nice, this is, I believe, a Gerber. I have blankets like this. I believe it's a Gerber. Nice blanket for him. And then we'll look at this hand. Aww. Yes, see, I just love how she did um, slight modeling, she said. I, I love it. I love it because it's got that blemish look to it. I love it. I love his little hand, the inside of his hand. Again, I'll have to come up and show you guys. I'm just kind of examining him first. Oh, I like the way this hand is. I forgot how it goes. Oh, she does so good on those spider veins. Wow, 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 wow. You do really good, girl. Very good spider veins on it, adorable. His body's weighted really nice. I really like the way she weights bodies. And yeah, he has got some good weight to him. Yeah, he feels about six pounds, maybe heavier. I think she said she would go up to about six. Now we're gonna see, I don't know if you guys know this kit, but one, two, three. Oh my goodness, cute. Oh, how cute. God, they look so different when you see them online to seeing them in person. Oh, he's precious. Now, what I did is, um, this is from my friend Michelle from Blessing Reborn Dolls. I'll stick it up on the screen there. Definitely check out her channel. She does reborning. She's going to have babies for sale coming up here in November. She's hoping to have four of them for the holidays, get them out early because of the way the USP has USPS has been running. I've been having trouble too. Things being delivered and then not delivered and then it goes back to the place and it says can't deliver and uh, my gosh, you guys, it's just been a pain. And so she had something one time delivered and it took like eight days. She did, you know, was supposed to only take two. So two or four or whatever and it took like eight days. So the USPS has been bad and I'm sure during the holidays it's going to be. So she's going to have babies up. So definitely check it out. I threw it up on the screen there. Definitely check her out. But oh my God, is he cute. Um, he was bald. I asked her if she would give him hair for me. And boy, did she do a nice job on the drawn on hair. And I said, I want it black. And oh my gosh, I will get up close. Um, his eyelashes are brown, but they're still dark. I'm going to root the black eyelashes. She didn't have that. But let me come up and show you up to the camera, this beautiful baby. And then I'll tell you all about it. Look at him. Look at that hair. Wow. She did fantastic on that hair. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. So black. And then she drew it and painted. I'm sure you guys know if you're a reborn artist, she's got the swirl back there. Um, you know, you do the drawing and then she goes over with the, the, the black paint as well just to give it more depth, especially black. She loves to do the black the most. So I asked her if she would do, that's the color I wanted was black hair. And you see he's got the eyelashes rooted. Very cute. And then you see, like I said, the arm. Sorry, there isn't a light on my... Thing right now my ring light isn't working so i hope you can see what i'm talking about look at that mottling isn't that so pretty and the blemishes like you just see blemishes and it's so perfect look at the veining they're spider veins look at his fingers look at his hand so cute and then over here you've got the um same thing like it looks like little um Blood vessels. I love the way she did it. It reminds me of little blood vessels. That is amazing, Michelle. And then the hand, look at the veining, the little spider veins. 
this hand how it how it is shaped kind of closed in hopefully it uh why is the camera blurry I'll tap it there we go look at that hand the fingers so pretty the bluing in the inside of the hand so gorgeous so gorgeous and then that gorgeous face i'm sorry i don't have the ring light on so you guys can see it better but you'll get to see this baby better when i do videos because i'll be doing videos but okay now i can tell you all about the baby while i'm getting him dressed again um i would like to put a onesie on him i'm gonna do that i'm gonna put a onesie on him while i am telling you guys about him uh, who he is, and, sorry, just give me one second, I think it's a pack of onesies, but I don't want to go back and get it, so I'm just looking in my drawer here for, for one, um, I don't want a long sleeve, I just want a newborn size, I think I got one, yep, I got a newborn size here, okay, all right, and I can see definitely, um, that he is bigger than the, my, um, Constance that I got through her, I bought my other one through her, and that one was a real born, if you know what that means. There's reborns and real borns, okay? That was a real born based off of a real baby. They do a bunch of scans. They scan, you know, take pictures of a real baby, and then they scan it uh, through the computer, millions of photographs scanned, and then they, um, uh, you know, scope out a baby, you know, and it's based off a real baby. Well, guess what? So is this one. This one is based off of a real baby too. And oh my God, he is cute. Very cute. He looks more like um, a baby. Yes, definitely that would be like a three month old and not a baby baby. But this one is a real born. It's Evelyn by Bountiful Babies. Uh, the weight of him is five pounds, 13 ounces. His length is 19 inches. He was born June of 2023. Painted by Michelle Benley, Blessing Reborns. So even though she did the hair, this when she got him done was on June of 2023. That's when he was born. He was reborn. Uh, but that's all the information. Um, she just had a card. <clears throat> she didn't have the actual COA on this one. Um, when she even got the kit, she didn't get the COA when she bought this kit um, from, I believe, a friend she bought it from. Didn't get it. So she wrote the information down for me. But it is legit. She is legit. I know it's legit. And this is a real born Evelyn Sculpt, Bountiful Babies. Beautiful, he is gorgeous. And now, while I get him dressed, his name. This little guy, my husband and I, are going to call, and I'll throw it up on the screen, Jasper Craig. So it'll be JC for short, which I love, Jesus Christ. I love JC as a nickname, but I love the name Jasper for a dark-haired baby. So, yep, it's Jasper Craig, and Craig is after my um, uh, my late dad. He passed away in uh, 2002, January of 2002. I lost my father. I have um, a father now. I hate to even use the word step, stepfather, but um, he is my dad, and that's that. Um, but, yes, my real father passed away, and um, I hope I get this right now. Every time I button from top bottom, I get it wrong. Um, he passed away. His middle name, my dad's name was James Craig. And so that's where the Craig comes in. And I like it because it's Jasper Craig. So that he gets <clears throat> um, the name uh, for JC. The nickname JC then. What did I do wrong here? Did I do something wrong? No. What's going on then? Oh. Oh. This one goes here, but then where does that one go? One is missing here. Okay, we will figure this out. But yes, this is Jasper Craig. Welcome him, everyone. Oh, this one goes here. Welcome baby Jasper Craig. JC for short. And I love that name. I really do for, like I said, a dark haired baby. I just really like the name Jasper. I was really thinking of names for him. And I thought he's going to be Jasper and he looks like a Jasper. He really does. What a beautiful boy he is. Love the hair that she did on it. She had both these babies up for sale. I got the first one from her, the first real born from her. And I loved her. That is, let me get him off of this blanket so you can see him sitting on this really nice dark blanket. Um, I seen both and I wanted the girl. And then after I got the girl here, I loved it so much. I wanted the boy too. And she still had it up for sale. So I'm so excited. I got my hands on two 
Whoops. Oh, gosh. Please tell me this was not blurry when I was doing this. Oh, my gosh, you guys. I should always be checking this. I hope it wasn't blurry. I'm sorry if it was while I was getting him dressed. But we're going to go ahead and just tilt this up a little bit so you can see him better. And then we'll turn it a little bit and then draw in more on him. So you guys can see him good. Beautiful, beautiful boy. He looks like a Jasper to me. I think he does. He just fits his name perfectly. But there he is. And like I said, she had two of them up for sale. And once I got Constance, the first real born, uh, I loved the paint job. I loved everything she did. It's like one of my favorite vinyls. I love her so much that I thought I want the other one. If she still has it, I want the other one. And now I got both. I'm so happy to own two real born babies based off of real babies. And I love them. I hope you guys enjoyed this box opening. Everybody take care. God bless. And I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload.